or Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, good evening. I hope you had a great day on this Thursday. It turned out to be a pretty nice day, didn't it? It was a little cooler today because of those higher clouds going through. We hit 70 in Corpus Christi. Now we're down to 62, 58 at Port Aransas to 62 Kingsville. The wind still pretty light out there and some high clouds still in the sky. As far as the evening forecast with that sun has already set at 618 or it's about to, you can see those temperatures are, are going to drop down to the low 50s by 11. So you might want to grab the jacket as you head out the door this evening. It's going to be a little on the cool side, but with the light winds, it won't be bad at all. Well, we have light winds and with the skies, those high clouds are going to clear out later tonight. That'll allow for some patchy fog to develop. Temperatures tonight dropping down into the lower 40s inland coast side in the upper 40s to near 50, a low of 42 degrees in Corpus Christi. Pretty nice night, pretty quiet out there, but again, some fog in the morning and then tomorrow is actually going to be warmer than it was today and a little brighter. I don't expect as many high clouds as we hit 75 in Corpus Christi tomorrow. So very nice weather tomorrow. Notice that southeast wind up to 15, picking up a little in the afternoon and the upper 70s in our inland areas. So some one of the warmest days we've seen in a little while. The wind tomorrow still again not too strong. This weekend that changes. We have our next cold front going through Saturday morning. Yep, the wind's going to pick up. It'll start from the southeast early, switch to the northeast, and pick up to about 15 to 25. Coming down through the day Sunday. Sunday's looking like a pretty nice day. A little cooler, though, but the wind will be subsiding, and then the wind picks up again next Tuesday. It's going to get pretty windy out here. Wednesday of next week. We'll be talking more about that. In the meantime, there are those high clouds that we showed you yesterday. Remember, we were tracking them from Mexico. They did come in. <clears throat> And as we go through the next 24 hours, you can see the edge of those clouds tonight gradually pull out of here. So we'll have a little more sun tomorrow. As we go through our day tomorrow, though, we'll still see a few of those clouds returning late in the day, but it's dry and it's a nice warmer day. Heading into Saturday, then there's that front still on track for about mid to late morning. And I still don't think we're going to have a lot of rain with it. A few showers possible early Saturday and then those clear out and it still looks like the better chance of rain is going to be anywhere from about 5 a.m. until about noon and then we dry out Saturday afternoon. A closer look at that with future tracker. This is tonight and as we go into tomorrow, notice a little more sunshine, some fog to start the day tomorrow. As we go through the day, those temperatures warming with our southeast winds. Here's Saturday. Notice a couple of showers possible by daybreak Saturday, and then those increase through about mid morning and then they move out pretty quickly. So notice the wind change there. That's the front and that's the cooler air that's going to be moving in for Saturday and still not much rain with this. We're talking about a tenth of an inch maybe in some spots and up to a quarter of an inch. Not much rain Saturday. Sunday we start to cool down a little bit, but it's still nice. The wind's going to die down, although that breeze will be cool. We'll have sunshine Sunday, so if you have your Super Bowl party, it'll be cold in the morning. The afternoon's looking okay out there, just a little on the cool side. Next week, Valentine's Day is looking sweet in the upper 60s, and then there's that wind. I think we're going to see winds gusting as high as 50 an hour next Wednesday. I've been keeping an eye on that. We'll have more and then a possibility of a shower or a storm Wednesday night, Andy. So lots to look for. Well, 75 tomorrow. So would that be a one cup of coffee morning? <laughs> I think so. Just a one cup. We'll have more sunshine too. And nothing wrong with that. Thanks That's a lot. Right.